Hi everyone, it's Barb Bruce here, and this week I am doing a video newsletter update. You know, sometimes we've got to change it up a little bit because most of us are on our third or fourth week of stay at home, and uh, I wanted to kind of just infuse something new. And so today I want to share with you the, the six things that help keep a smile on my face as we're going through the COVID crisis. The reason why I'm sharing my six things with you is to hopefully inspire you to think strategically about what do you have around you to help you keep a smile on your face. Now, the six things I'm gonna share with you are really simple, and you might agree with some of these or you might have a different six, but the reason why we want to keep a smile on our face is that this season of life won't last forever. Now, the virus might be around for a while, but what we're experiencing right now, this isn't gonna last forever. And so we wanna plant healthy seeds right now, plant emotionally healthy seeds, plant physical health, we wanna plant relational health and spiritual health so that as we come out of the pandemic and as we deal with some of the stuff that this season of life has stirred up, we're gonna be in a healthy place to deal with what we have to deal with versus trying to deal with it with some unhealthy things. So let me share my fun six things with you. Uh, the first is that I don't know about you, but uh, during this pandemic, my refrigerator has been talking to me a lot. My refrigerator has been calling my name 24 seven. And what I realized was that um, after doing some research, that loneliness can actually make you feel hungry. Now, are you actually hungry? No but loneliness can create a hunger on the inside. I realized that I have to have fast, healthy options around me. Well, for many years now, even bef years before the pandemic, I've done salad in a jar. And salad in a jar, many of you are familiar with this, but if you're not, you can go to Pinterest and look for salad in a jar. But fast food is much easier and simpler to eat than healthy food. Salad in a jar is my way of making healthy food fast food. So at the beginning of every week when I go to the grocery store, um, let's see, I've got toma uh, cherry tomatoes at the bottom, there's carrots, red pepper, onion, and lettuce. So I get all those fresh veggies, ch uh, wash them well, chop them up, and then put them in mason jars. And you'll see like the tomatoes at the bottom and everything and the lettuce goes on top. When I'm ready to eat, I just unscrew the lid, dump it, the lettuce is on the bottom of my plate, and the veggies pile on top. I keep my cucumbers in a separate container because they don't stand up as well. I can add protein, whether it's chicken or salmon on top, but when I feed my body well, it helps me stay energized and that helps to keep a smile on my face. Uh, the second that keeps a smile on my face is having a supply of healthy snacks. The great advantage for many of us is if you're not going to the grocery store oh, and you are requesting like you're doing like a click list or grocery delivery, this is your chance to stop bringing unhealthy food into the house. So when I go shopping, I buy healthy snacks because I'm in charge of what I eat. And I know that if I keep unhealthy things around, I'm going to eat them. So this here is the Chocolate Cupcake Lara Bar. This is actually a nutritional bar. It's amazing. So I buy healthy snacks, again, to help keep my body feeling good so that that can keep a smile on my face. Uh, number three is smell. Um, this is so crazy, but smell, it has a way of affecting our mood. This is my candle from Christmas. You guys, I got this candle, I think at Walmart or Kohl's for $5 but I burn a good smelling candle every day and that smell helps to uplift my mood, make me smile. We all have candles, burn the ones that you love. Uh, then number, let's see, we're on number four right now, sneakers. Notice my S theme, sneakers, tennis shoes, I don't care what you call them, but we are at a stay at home, but that doesn't mean that you can't go outside and take a walk. So my goal every day is to take 10,000 steps and that doesn't have to be your goal. But when I have that goal every day and I put my shoes on and I move my body, that really helps me to deal with, work off some excess emotional energy. It helps to clear my thoughts. It helps to relax my body 
so that I can sleep better. So this, if you have not been moving your body, put your shoes on, start walking around the house. It will improve your mood. Uh, number five, uh, this one doesn't have an S, but uh, this is tea. Uh, I am a huge tea drinker. I don't care if it's tea or coffee, but I have something that I it just, this is my thing that just makes me feel good. It's okay if you have a dessert or if you've got something that's a favorite. This is my feel good favorite. Uh, for me, chai tea is a big thing. On the front of this mug, I make sure that I drink out of fun mugs. It's fabulous is an attitude. So let's talk about attitude for a moment. When I drink my tea, that's when I stop and think about the things that I'm help thankful for. So giving gratitude every day to God for what he has done and his faithfulness, that is a huge, huge part of keeping a smile on our face. And then the last, number six, is study. Every day, I am carving out time to do my own study. Now, I am a Bible study writer. That's what I do. But I always do my own separate Bible study apart from the studies that I'm writing. So right now these days I've been working on living a praying life. This was written by my friend, the late Jennifer Kennedy Dean. And so every day I begin with a Bible study. And when I finish my Bible study, then I pray. And that's when I connect with God so that his power can flow through me. And as God's power is flowing through me and as I'm growing closer to him, that fills me with the joy and the peace that I need each day to deal with what I'm going through. And so what about you? Can you think of six things that can put a smile on your face? And if you've been struggling in the Bible study area, this is the place where I want to invite you starting this Wednesday, April 22nd. I'm going to be doing my new surrendered Bible study online. Uh, this is going to be an online Bible study. I'm going to be doing it for six weeks. On Wednesdays, I'll be teaching live in Facebook in a private group. And then on Thursdays, you can be a part of group discussion. I'll be leading three group discussions throughout the day on Thursday. You can go to barbruce.com slash surrendered to find out more. You can order your surrendered books. You'll need the books for the study. Uh, I have them at barbruce.com if you want to get them sooner. Uh, if you want to order from Amazon, that's no problem. It's just going to take a couple of weeks. But the good part is, is that the first week of the study, that is already available on my website so everybody can grab the first week of the study. So I'm so glad that you joined me for this week's video newsletter. I want you to go find the six things that can put a smile on your face today. God bless you friends and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.